everybody out there, this is Jake James Lugo, and I'm here at the Ultimate Gamer in Miami, and I'm sitting with Ardo Alcala, who's a broadcaster, who's a host of the Ultimate Gamer. I mean, how are you doing? What's happening? Well, I literally stepped away from my perch right literally. now to do this, so you're welcome. Bro. Thank you, I'm I appreciate just kidding. it. It's, awesome. uh, it's been a lot of fun, right? Nice, it's been We were on a panel together. Yes, we were on a panel together. We talked about esports, we talked about business stuff, we talked about entertainment. It was a lot of crazy stuff. I mean, you've been hosting a lot of stuff with the Ultimate Gamer here with some of the competition. I mean, what's that been like for you so far? So I do a lot of uh, live event hosting, uh, definitely in the esports space. Uh, endemic to different, like we're doing a Super Smash Ultimate tournament on the main stage right now. Yeah. So I'm very gracious that Hungry Box, who's you know one of the best players, in the he was with us earlier. Yeah, exactly. He's allowing me to you know play in this space for a little while. It's very nice to have him and Broza, the commentators for this. You know, being allowed to uh, be a host and a, and a live event MC for their uh, to be in their world, which is a lot of fun. Uh, but in the esports space, I do play by play for the NHL Gaming World Championship. Nice. Very proud of that. I uh, do a lot of stuff with uh, events like this, Ultimate Gamer here in Miami. The first ever one. This is a really cool experience, I have to say. It's been a lot of fun. Definitely, yeah. I've been enjoying myself the last couple of days since the stuff has been going on. We had a lot of people here yesterday, which was insane. I mean, you guys got a full crowd now, which has been pretty cool. Tell me a little bit about your perspective on some of the games. I mean, we've had Smash, obviously, going on now. We've had Fortnite. We had CSGO. Uh, uh, was it CSGO? Uh, and also, I think we also had Rocket League. <laughs> Rocket League. So, I mean, what do you think about the games and some of the competition? Well, definitely, Smash has a very passionate fan base, yeah. and I love it. You know, whether it's a Melee fan, whether it's an Ultimate fan, even a Brawl fan, or a uh, Smash 4 fan. It's just that community is very passionate uh, and they're very outspoken, which is great. It's always great to see that passion and that love for a title. Yeah. Uh, Fortnite, of course, casually is just the biggest game out there, right? People just love it. Millions upon millions of people are playing it. Even when competition comes on the scene, Fortnite will always reign supreme just on the way that they do things. We were talking about it on the panel on day one. Just the idea that it's a community. It's basically like living in, in your own universe now. A World of Warcraft or a Half-Life or a SimCity type of thing where you're literally, you could be playing a battle a Royale game, but then you could be seeing a concert the next minute, or maybe even a stand-up comedian down the line, you never know. So that's that kind of community there, but it's still very high-level gameplay among these competitors here. CSGO is sort of like the prettiest eSport to watch. You know, it's PC crowd. Yeah, it's very, it's, it's very fun to watch, and a lot of people would say that it's the most easily digestible eSport, because it's very, uh, it's very easy to comprehend, it's very easy and, and on the eyes to watch, it's beautiful to, uh, as it unfolds in the drama as well, even with every single map and every single stage, it's just very beautiful and it unfolds very well. Rocket League is the same way, it's just very easy to understand. Super different too. Yeah, it's soccer with cars. Which right? is awesome. So it's awesome. Things put together. Yeah, it's very easy to understand. Now, what I want to take away from this weekend is I don't know the answer to this question, and Ultimate Gamer is going to answer it. What will the merged tournament look like? Yeah. Right? That's going to be will, my next thing. Yeah. Like, what is that going to be like for you? I mean, do you like that concept? Do you like that idea? I mean, because with those four games, but even imagine like some other games, yeah. they don't mix it, they do another event. I mean, what do you think about that? Well, I'll admit that I always thought that gamers existed in their own silos. So if I'm a Smash Ultimate pro, I may not necessarily enter Fortnite tournaments to try and win some money. But here at Ultimate Gamer, you know, Steve and the team are endeavoring to answer that question. You know, there's a lot of money on the Line here was it like fifty thousand dollars? There's like seventy five like total thousand yeah. dollars. Like it's that's, insane. That's, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. <laughs> and, and no matter what kind of gaming tournament you're putting on, so that's really going to answer the question. And I'm very interested in that answer. Definitely, me too. I think again, from what the response I've seen has been really insane. A lot of people seem to be loving it and stuff. But now, if they do have another event next year or the following years, like that, what game you personally want to see? I know a lot of people have been saying different titles. Of, I've been saying Street Fighter. I would love to see Street Fighter. I would love to see Tetris 99. But oh, yeah. what game do you want to see kind of implemented to the mix and something like that? Well, Tetris 99, I'm competing, I'll yeah. tell you that much. I'm there a big Tetris guy, I love the Tetris community. Classic Tetris World Championships is one of the favorite things I do all year, nice. uh, being part of that commentary team. But I would say uh, more sports simulators would be cool. A, a heat check gaming is here with the NBA 2K League. Very cool to see them here, uh, supporting local uh, grassroots esports teams, you know, being a part of a big platform like NBA 2K League. Anything like that, Madden, NHL, near and dear to my heart, FIFA, anything like that, I think that it would be cool to add a sports simulator to mix because I'd love to see Rocket League is as close as we're going to get this year, but maybe in future we'll see well, how good is a Fortnite player at a shell, you know? It would be really cool to answer that question. What about something like NBA Jam? Oh, like oh yeah, the retro? Would I yeah. absolutely love that. Are you kidding me? 
Oh, it would be a Jam Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition, maybe Hyper Fighting. Oh my gosh, the little Tech Bowl Bowl? Absolutely. That'd be ridiculous. NHL 94, let's just bring it all down. Why not? That'd be really, really cool. Now, here's one last one of question. What do you want to tell some of the players out there that are probably going to get grassroots eventually that are on the up and coming? I mean, like guys that want to make a name. What kind of advice would you give to them? I would say, uh, you know, enjoy the grind. You've got to put your hours in. You've got to put your time in. But if you enjoy it, it won't feel like work, and you're going to want to do it. And learn from those who are at the top of the mountain, from the pro players to the streamers. How are they staying successful? How are they conducting themselves in public? How are they monetizing their efforts? These are things that you want to learn. Seek out those pros, ask them those questions, and learn from them so that you yourself can be a success. You see, food for thought for you guys out there. Marta, thank you so much, I appreciate it. It's awesome, again, you gotta get back to doing your hosting. I gotta go, I gotta go. There's a lot of stuff going down, but guys, I will be back again with some more content for you guys to enjoy. Peace out, and stay epic, everybody.